Hey, hey, Fit Lovers. Hey, Fit Lovers. Welcome back. I am Ramsey. And I am Nina. And we thought that since we always talk about marriage and relationships and family and such, we thought we'd change it up a bit and talk about being single. Stay with us. This is the Fit Love Show. Okay, fit lovers. So obviously, given the nature of this show, we put lots of emphasis on marriage, family, relationships and such, but we never really talked about what it means to be single. When you're in a relationship, the focus is generally on your partner. Sometimes we even tend to focus on our partner even more than we focus on ourselves. Single people generally only have themselves to focus on. And that leads us into our topic of the day, fit lovers. Now, we aren't saying it's bad to be single or anything. Quite the contrary. If you're a single person who ultimately wishes to be in a relationship, you have a unique opportunity to develop yourself into the type of person who will attract the kind of person you're looking for. So today we'll be discussing three ways to be single, how you can use that time to become the best version of yourself and for your potential partner. Yep. Before we begin, we'd like to ask you to please click that subscribe button and don't forget to turn your notifications on so you'll be notified first when new episodes are released. Yep. Okay, babe. Let's get it cracking. When you're not in a relationship, it's important to build a circle of supportive people around you. This will enable you to create deep and uplifting friendships to fulfill your need for connection. Seek out opportunities to meet new people and expand your social circle. Remember, being single doesn't mean isolating yourself. That's not good for anyone. In business, it's said that you are the average of the five people you surround yourself with. The same could be said regarding your social circles. If you're a single person ultimately wanting to be in a relationship, it does not benefit you to surround yourself with only single people. One of the best things you can do for yourself while you're single is to learn to enjoy your own company. Remember, you don't attract what you want, you attract what you are. You'll be able to attract that special someone much easier if you yourself are already happy and fulfilled. When we work on becoming the best version of ourselves and cultivate qualities such as self-love, confidence, and emotional well-being, we are more likely to attract partners that possess the same qualities. When we focus solely on what we want in a partner or relationship without considering our own self-development, we may find ourselves attracting a person with the same patterns or dynamics we are trying to avoid in the first place. For example, if we're insecure or we have unresolved emotional issues, we may unintentionally attract similar partners or partners who have similar characteristics or who are just not able to provide us with the emotional support we desire. There's a difference between being alone and feeling lonely. Use your single time to pursue your passions and hobbies. Prioritize your physical and mental health. And build the qualities and characteristics in yourself that you're looking for in someone else. It's not uncommon for people to sometimes feel less than because they aren't in a relationship. Your self-worth shouldn't be measured based on your relationship status. So don't compare yourself to where everyone else is in their lives. Keep in mind, each person's experience of love is special and unique. Don't judge your own relationships based on what you see on social media or in your friends' lives. Comparisons can lead to unhappiness and negatively affect your well-being. We know that being single can sometimes have negative connotations. But there's nothing wrong with being single. 
The last thing you want to do is force a connection because you want so badly to be in a relationship. Enjoy your time being single, but use that time to become the best version of yourself. The best version of yourself is the one that will attract that special person that you've been searching for. Mm -hmm. Okay, Fit Lovers, that's our show for today. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Fit Love 101, and share this video. And don't forget to turn your notifications on so you'll be notified first when new episodes come. Yup. Thanks again, Fit Lovers. Thanks. See you next time. Peace.